Um, my initial response um, to the COVID-19 pandemic was out of concern for our economy and our healthcare system. We're battling HIV, TB, non-communicable diseases, among other concerns that our healthcare system is facing. And our economy by the end of 2019 was um, also showing that it was contracting. So when this pandemic um, was identified in China, we knew that this pandemic was going to impact our healthcare system and economy one way or the other. However, through research and following our minister and being part of the company's medical advisory group and seeing just the preparations that the company um, was making with regards to response to COVID-19, it alleviated the anxiety and concern, um, uh, um, you know, quite a lot. It is my duty to educate and support the employees and the company. So I had to empower myself with information. The relationship I had with the DOH and DME made it easy to face the pandemic. I immediately established a COVID-19 crisis committee at executive level. We developed a risk-based approach and launched a communication campaign and communicated everything we knew about the virus and the protocols pertaining to it to our employees and key stakeholders. We had to make decisions around domestic and international travel and I worked closely with our medical team to ensure that our vulnerable employees would be protected. And for the kids, uh, those that were homeschooled, we made sure that, or we worked, sorry, together with um, the local newspaper, the Zululand Observer. We worked on um, study guides for maths and English uh, that could help these kids, especially the grade 12s. We also put together a fun guide um, of fun and games and puzzles and do-it-yourself activities that kids could also use um, during this time to keep themselves occupied. Well, to sum it all up, I could say I gave unity into formation. What we managed to achieve was that we managed to get the three mines in the vicinity to form a measure in the fight against COVID. All efforts were concentrated and then there was a concerted effort in the rolling out of the aid. And this helped a lot because we realized that in standing together, we stood taller and bigger and managed to reach a wide magnitude and greater heights. This pandemic has actually reminded us about Ubuntu. It has reminded us just how interconnected we are. We are one. It has reminded us just how important my, my actions can impact on your actions and your actions can impact on my actions. And we must never ever um, forget that. And we must also remember that we need to ensure and make it normal to ask our neighbors, how can we help? Where can we help? The mindset is the powerful tool to defeat any challenges in life. The pandemic is still out there. Let us not be complacent. Let us continue adhering to health and safety rules. I'd like to encourage each and every one of you to hang in there. We will continue to fight the virus and we will come out of it stronger together. Remember the three W's, wash your hands, wear your masks and watch your distance. It's so important that we support each other and work together to get through all of this. But more than that, I think as well, we are always stronger together. If we choose to work together and we know that we're working for the common good, we can overcome almost anything. There will always be new developments in disease trends and we need to keep up. And it's also important to note that in doing so, we must not neglect the already existing pool of medical conditions because that could tend to rock the boat and bring an imbalance and then we lose sight of what we're trying to achieve and lose sight of the bigger picture.